I'm Dr. Karen Osborne from Synergy Family Wellness Center and in this week's video blog I'm going to talk about getting back to routine. So this is back to school time. This is when a lot of the parents are saying to us in the office, oh my god, thank god school is back. I would just want the kids to back to routine and structure. Summer was great and fun, but we know how important the kids do with that structure, right? So, you know, we notice when there is that routine, that structure in their daily and weekly lives, that there's less stress, the kids know what to expect, there's less upsets or meltdowns and that's for the the kids and for the adults and just the days just go a lot more you know just a lot easier so um i know for me it's been a little bit of a struggle since kai was born he's actually in my arms right now maybe i'll show him to everyone then too here's kai again hey buddy he's having a hard time sleeping these days <laughs> he tends to want to be held all the time which is great totally fine we know he's a newborn baby and everything so but I've been kind of struggling to get back to my routine as well and that's why I wanted to really to do this this video blog to make me accountable and let you know that I have the same challenges with you I get it but you know what I think we that routine just like we know it's important for our children it's just as important for us you know think what it's like when you get off routine and you're maybe say starting to eat a lot of meals through the drive through window or you've gotten off track with your exercise maybe sleep Okay, I know exactly what that's like. I have very little sleep these days. And um, you know, it's hard. You just you kinda you feel really off, right? You feel off that routine. And so, you know, if we don't actually schedule these things for ourselves just like that we do for our kids for the hockey practice and music lessons and drop them off at the bus at a certain time to get to school, then we're not gonna be anywhere on that to-do list, are we? We're gonna kinda get tossed out. And I think it's important for us to do that, whether that's time that we create for exercise, maybe date night with our spouse, um, doing cooking and, and meal preparation. I mean, whatever is really important to you, I think it's important that we do have that structure for ourselves then too. Because really, as, as parents, as grandparents, as aunts and uncles, as teachers, you know, it doesn't matter what we say to our children, they're going to do what we do. And so I know for a lot of the moms out there have told me that, yeah, 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 but I got to take care of the kids and their needs come first. And that's awesome. However, I think we need to stop being the martyr. I think we need to really start understanding that we cannot really serve our families fully if we don't serve ourselves first. And so we deserve to be part of that routine as well then too. And I think again, really teaching our children how to have that within our within our lives. So how do you really start doing routine? If it's been so long since you've had routine or if you've never had it, where do you kind of start? So I'm going to give you three easy steps to to get started with that. With the first one being this, you have to first take a look at the foundation. And the foundation is this. What are your core values? In other words, what, what is most important to you in life? Um, well, these are some of the strategies that we actually teach at Think by Design on how to really discover what those are for you. But, you know, you can just take some time saying, what is really important to me? So let's say, for example, if you said, well, health is, a, is an important core value. That's really important to me in my life. But yet, you make bad choices when it comes to food. You don't move your body on a regular basis. Maybe you're missing your appointments with us in the office, and you're staying up late at night and not getting enough sleep. Well, you know what? That's incongruent, right? That's a contradiction to what's most important to you. And we have contradictions in our life. It leads to nothing but destruction. We feel badly about it. We feel guilt. We beat ourselves up. And so we have to take a look at, first, what are those core values and what are most important? And that leads us to the second step, which is actions. Okay, so those actions are going to be aligned with our core values. So let's go back to the example of health. For me, personally, that's a very that's one of my top three core values is my own personal health. All right, so here's my new routine post-Chi that I'm actually setting up when it comes to health. Now, I know what you're maybe thinking, especially some of the parents and the moms out there particularly of, yeah, but I've got a baby. I know, I do too right now. It's very unpredictable with children, but I think you still need to set up that routine then first. So my routine as far as health looks like this. So I'm going back to yoga either Saturday or Sunday. I have it as a kind of a flex one of the two days, knowing that there's some, you know, obviously a little bit more unpredictability having a newborn baby. I go to CrossFit on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to the, the CrossFit Mama's class now when I can, we can actually bring the babies there to work out. Um, Friday afternoons is when I'm going to get back to, because I've gotten totally off routine with this, um, to planning meals for the following week and grocery shopping. So I'll spend an hour and a half doing that. I'm going to spend about three hours early, early Saturday morning before everyone is up actually cooking and getting those meals ready. So that's those are things that are important for me 
that my actions, again, are congruent with what's most important to me in life so that your daily and weekly routine really reflects that. And the last part is just simply sticking to that schedule. I, I know it kind of sounds like a no-brainer, but, you know, you got to really stick to that routine. See these, see this as the same way you would an appointment with us in the office or a dentist or, again, your kid's hockey practice. So really, you know, if you do fall off track, don't beat yourself up. Get right back on moving forward with routine. But be careful. Okay, if you fall too off track, it's a slippery slope. It's really hard to get back. So, you know, having a routine, it definitely takes some work. It takes some planning. But you know what? I think the payoff is huge. I think you're going to notice there's a lot less stress in your life. I think you're going to notice that things are more organized. You're able to accomplish more. And it really just creates a lot more order and flow within your day. And, you know, you get to really live your life purpose, which is why we're all here on this planet. So I hope you make yourself the most extraordinary day. Please go ahead and comment on the blog. I'd love to know how you incorporate routine into your life so we can really help and share with each other. And I will talk to you next week. Have a great day.